first UT cooking show from village. I am Nuku Nyosoya and today I am going to show you a really very interesting recipe made from the leftover pao bhaji and I am sure you will going to enjoy this uh, every time when you make the pao bhaji in dinner uh, in the breakfast on second day. So you just required uh, very few simple ingredients uh, like pao and uh, bhaji leftover and uh, green chutney, olive oil and butter and nothing else. We are going to bake it in an oven. So let's start making my very special and very unique invention, Pao Bhaji Toast Masala. Okay, so friend, first of all, I'm going to preheat the oven at 230 degrees Celsius. Okay, now we are going to prepare our Pao Bhaji Toast. So let's come here and we are going to make the Pao Bhaji Toast. Okay, so friend, first of all, I'm going to divide each Pao into the two part, like this way from the center we want two equal parts so we can make a nice toast you will need a sharp knife otherwise you can't cut it perfectly see this way now on each and every bow I am going to apply some butter you can add as much as you need it will going to make our pao very crispy and delicious in taste. Apply butter evenly so we can make it a very nice pao bhaji toast masala from it. I got this idea uh, when we have uh, some leftover pao bhaji from our dinner. So in the morning I thought that why not to make something interesting from it in our oven. Uh, like a uh, pizza style toast and it was come out really nice and if i have to choose from the pao bhaji and pao bhaji masala toast then i choose uh, this one and i'm saying it because i know the taste when you are going to make it at home you will going to also make it open and everybody going to like this now i'm going to put the green chutney on each pao apply it evenly See it has started looking really very good from now. Okay now on the eat toast I am going to put the bhaji. Mix your bhaji nicely so we can spread it very nicely on each pound. I think one tablespoon is enough on each pound. Spread it like this way. I love the smokiness which we get in the oven so that's why I like this uh, recipe very much and it is also a really very easy recipe in the morning we can save lots of time while making the breakfast so you can make also more bhaji and pao in the dinner if you want to make it uh, for your breakfast every time and I am sure you will not going to get disappointment from this recipe because this taste is really very unique and I can't forget even today I have made it three four times uh, before it and just everybody love it in my home so we make it very often in the breakfast okay so now on the every pound I'm going to put some onions very few not too much and some tomatoes just for the color combination and decoration part it is also going to give us a really very good taste and a crunch and a different texture so this is it our pao bhaji masala toast is ready for the baking so now i'm going to take out the baking plate okay so now transfer our pao bhaji toast into the baking plate or baking tray whatever you call we can make six pieces at a time. If you have a big one, then you can make it more. Okay, so now I'm going to dissolve some olive oil on it. It will going to make it smoky and going to make it crispy. Olive oil is healthy, so we can use olive oil in it. Okay, so now I'm going to bake it at a 230 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so now we are going to bake our pao bhaji masala toast for 
10 minutes at 230 degrees Celsius. So this is it. See, it is a really very simple recipe and I am sure you are going to love the taste because it has a very unique taste and instead of pao bhaji you are going to make this uh, and you will also going to share this recipe with the friend and your guest and family members because this is absolutely delicious and you can't get this kind of taste in any other uh, dish okay so friend our pao bhaji toast masala is ready so now uh, let's take it out see the color it is looking absolutely gorgeous okay so friend this is the time to serve my very special in one sun pao bhaji toast masala first of all we are going to decorate our plate with the green chutney Now plus pao bhaji masala toast. Like this way, some tomatoes around it, some onions and lemon wedges. So this is it. My very simple, easy and delicious but very unique in taste pao bhaji masala toast is ready to serve. Okay, so I know the taste but uh, let me tell you the harvest taste and, and what about it. So basically it is a, like a very much crispy toast as we have the cheese toast and garlic toast. But uh, it has a very unique and different flavor. Wow, I love this smokiness and uh, the bread is so crispy and the smokiness of the bhaji it will really going to give you a unique taste and make you feel happy because you can't get this kind of taste even in the pao bhaji but this pao bhaji masala toast will going to make your day i hope you enjoyed this recipe please don't forget to like share and subscribe to food on tv network for the detailed recipe with step by step picture you can go to the food on tv network.com Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.